Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease where the body's own immune system is attacking the beta cells. The immune system in type 1 is really the attacker, it's really the bad guy that we need to retrain to become again accustomed to beta cells. The product of IMSI, the immotopes, where we're trying to reorganize the immune system is a very interesting approach to do that. IMSI has been founded uh, about 10 years ago as a spin-off of the Catholic University of Leuven in Belgium. The company was then relocated to Liège, where it's based today, and it has really taken on the task to develop these immotopes as a way of treating patients with autoimmune diseases. Like a lot of things in research, uh, it was a bit by hazard that it was discovered initially by doing experiments in allergy. They found something not really normal and expected. And they explored why it was not normal and they discovered a new uh, way of working that could be very interesting to develop proactively. These cells are part of the, a lot of immune processes. What we discovered is that we could modify the function of the CD4 T cells. When we treated animals with such modified uh, sequences, we could control all the inflammatory processes and all the autoimmune attack against the, the organism. IMSIS is developing a class of molecules that we call immotopes. Immotopes are basically modified naturally occurring epitopes derived from autoantigens that are responsible for autoimmune disorder. What we do is we take the naturally occurring epitope modify them in a specific way and create this new type of cells called cytolytic CD4 cells that are then able to kill the part of the immune system that is responsible for these autoimmune diseases. We are really developing a specific treatment with hematope that will act only on the autoimmune response that is linked to the disease without impacting the rest of the immune system. The immotope technology lends itself to be applied in a broad range of autoimmune diseases. In fact, we have looked at hundreds of different diseases where we believe it can be applied. We decided to go first with type 1 diabetes. We feel that the technology has a special benefit in this disease. We have no cure for type 1 diabetes. We have no way to prevent type 1 diabetes. The IMSIS approach is a very interesting approach because it affects the effector T cells, those T cells that are attacking the beta cell. All of the other approaches have mainly been targeting uh, regulator T cells and it makes us really hopeful that this could have an effect in type 1 diabetes. IMSIS has for the first time tested hemotope uh, in uh, human beings uh, in type 1 diabetes uh, starting in 2017 and we finished this very first study uh, mid-2019. We had very good safety results but the next step is now to demonstrate that we will have some effectiveness of the product in type 1 diabetes patients. So with the phase 1 we made we have already uh, be able to identify new, uh, some biomarkers and the immune response of a patient when he receives the, the product. So it will allow us to better understand the way those uh, hematops, those peptides, act on the human immune system. The results of the recently concluded type 1 diabetes study were very encouraging and we presented those results to a very broad audience. And based on these interactions, the Nodia network became interested enough to invite us to become a member of that prestigious group. IMSIS came to Inodia uh, because it is a consortium of academic partners, but also of foundations, JDRF and Helmsley Trust, of an SME, and also of pharmaceutical companies. Using the whole network of Inodia, we hope to really refine their treatment into a very efficacious and safe treatment for people with newly diagnosed type 1 diabetes. What are you expecting from such product on your side as a patient? Uh, I think it's very important because this product could be very selective for immunotherapy. Inside Inodia, there is a patient advisory committee to advise, to make comments at every level of the, of the study to ensure that the strategy of Inodia are aligned with the goal of people living with type 1 diabetes. 
The patient advisory committee will be in close relationship with him size. We are really striving to develop cures for autoimmune diseases and we're doing our utmost to engage with representatives of the affected population to make sure that these cures reach patients as soon as possible. The very next step for IMSA in clinical development is type 1 diabetes. But we have uh, other projects that are in the pipeline and that are close uh, to clinical development and probably the next one could be multiple sclerosis. At IMSA we have assembled a group of very talented individuals from all over the world that are working relentlessly day and night to really develop these molecules into products for patients. When a patient is diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, he know it's for the rest of its life. If you can do something to stop the progression of their disease and the progression of their disabilities, that is really something you want to wake up every morning for. I think it is the dream of every researcher to have, to have this fundamental research coming to the clinical level with good hope that it will really have a big impact on the patient's life.